So if you're looking for that oomph, if you're trying to be very clear about what you're trying to accomplish in 2025, then let's get right into it. Guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Inkechi. I create content all for my working women around natural hair cells for the office, workwear fashion, and career advice. Today, I'm really excited because first and foremost, when did it become Q4? Like, it's madness and it's like halfway through October. So we're like halfway through the first month of Q4. Like, whoo, the months really just be flying by. So I wanna take you guys through actually a video that I never posted, but I went back and watched and I'm like, you know, there are some lessons to take from that around manifestation, around putting a plan into place. So that's part one. And I wanna take you guys through part two, where I talk about how we can reflect on what we've accomplished this year, give ourselves our flowers, recognize ourselves for the growth that we've made, and then also put a very clear plan into place so that we can succeed in 2025. <sighs> Good morning. It is Sunday and I have, I don't wanna say a busy day, but I definitely have some things that I need to get done. 2024, I'm just rethinking how I am reprogramming my brain on how I do things. When it comes to my personal life, when it comes to corporate curly, when it comes to professional life. So my goal is to create more structure that also allows me more ease and I don't feel like I'm this hamster, you know, on whatever that little thing is that they're on. I don't wanna be a hamster. I want to live a life that's fulfilled, but also where I'm just not burnt out all the time. Like, is life really supposed to be like that? When I went to Nigeria, I was like, I'm so grateful I took that trip and I'm so grateful I took the trip the time that I did throughout the year because like I was on a, oh, what was me? Oh, I suck at everything. Oh, like, I was just like not in a good headspace last year. Granted, you know, there were some challenging things that I experienced at work that just kind of made me feel like I'm just the dumbest person and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just so grateful for that trip to Nigeria because it got me out of that space. It's really important that if you are experiencing burnout or if you're experiencing just like not a good point, if you're at a low point, that you find ways to get out of that. And the trip to Nigeria really helped me do that. On top of that, like, you know, it was the perfect time because I was so reflective on what do I wanna focus on this year? Like, what do I wanna accomplish? What do I wanna say at the end of March, 2025 of next year, I wanna be at a different place that I am at right now, March, 2024. So that's why I'm trying to be just so intentional and just so thoughtful on what I'm doing, how I'm spending my time, who I'm spending my time with, what am I doing at work? How is work helping me get to the next point? You know, what am I contributing that's helping the, the work that I'm doing? So like, I don't know, like I think your 30s are just the time to be so intentional. Like my 20s was such a year of like, not a year, a decade of we figuring it out. I mean, still granted in life, we're still figuring it out, but you know, in your 20s, you're just figuring it out. You don't know what you're doing. In your 30s, you still don't really know what you're doing, but you know more of what you're doing than you did in your 20s. So I just feel like every year in your 30s just really matters, especially as a woman, you know, especially as a woman who has a professional career, who aspires to be a mother and a wife. Like these years are so important. Granted for me, the fact that I don't know who my significant other is going to be and I don't know when I'm gonna get married, I don't know when I'm gonna have kids. Like, I feel like these years are so important because I'm like, well, I could say, woe is me, I want that, but I don't have it. I'm also at a point where it's just like, girl, you don't have nothing else consuming your time but work and yourself. That is such a blessing. That is such an amazing point to be at. Sometimes I gotta tell myself like, girl, shut up, shut up. I have to give myself that tough love. Like, girl, shut up. Okay, I try to be nice to myself. Girl, calm down. <laughs> you're not at a point where you you want to be, but you're at a great point. You have to realize that. You know, even if I'm not at a place where I wanna be at work, as corporate curly, in my personal life, like, but you have to like, always have to remind myself, look at where you were before and look at where you're at right now. Progress has been made. It's a journey. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm at a great place and I have to remind myself that. So let me get out my little soapbox, but I just have to always like kind of reframe my mind to think in that way because it really could be like, woe is me. 
but it's really not. The other thing that I'll say is like, if you need a moment to like sulk, if you need a moment to be in your space, if you need a moment to like feel down, take that moment. But girl, don't be in that moment for too long. Take that moment. My trip to Nigeria was that moment. My trip to Nigeria was just an opportunity for me to like find clarity and understand like, what is my path for 2024? What am I accomplishing? What am I trying to do? What progress do I need to make? If you need a, a moment to soak, girl, take that moment to soak. That's what I realized is take that time to feel whatever you're feeling take that time to be how rude i can't remember what i was getting deep about but my camera apparently overheated i think what i was just saying is just if you need the moment take the moment give yourself that space to feel whatever emotions you are feeling and then get back being the corporate baddie that you are or the professional baddie that you are okay because you know you are but okay so i have some ginger tea i'm trying to drink something healthier before drinking coffee in the morning so i try to drink water try and drink some ginger tea i really love this one i'll post it below then i'm gonna have a cup of coffee but i'm about to get started filming today only gonna do two things i have a whole plan for my weekly goals i'm excited about the structure the way my brain is wired i honestly don't know how i've been able to like accomplish the things that i've had that i've accomplished in life because like my brain is literally all over the place like <laughs> and i don't think i noticed until my brother who's a psychiatrist so i guess he knows what he's talking about like told me but anyways let me get some work done i'll see you guys in a bit all right let's get into this hair let's get into this makeup and let's talk about how we're gonna finish off this year strong and go into 2025 very, very planful. So the first tip is I want you to be reflective. I want you to think back to this year. I want you to think back to the progress that you've made because I want you to give yourself grace if you're not where you wanna be. The year is not over and you still got some time, but I really want you to put some time on, and when I say you, I'm also talking to me, honestly. I'm talking to both of us. Like, I want you to be very like, appreciative of what you've accomplished in 2024. Because girl, honestly, a lot of times, like we think about our growth and we think about our accomplishments and like titles, promotions, more money. The money would be nice, right? But I also have had to like reframe my mind to think like if I have made some internal growth, that is growth, that is progress, that is something to recognize, that's something to applaud yourself about. So that's the first thing because I don't know about you, but for me, a lot of times I am like running towards the next goal that I don't even take time to appreciate and to recognize what I've accomplished. It's also a matter of like, take a look at yourself six months ago. If you are one step further, if you are five step further, if you are 10 step further, Further, then you made some progress even if you take a look at yourself yesterday a week ago if you know that you can navigate through things differently if you've gained some sense of maturity if you've gained some sense of growth girl that's something to be applauded that's something to be recognized and i want you to be happy with that so you know i don't know if you all like journal or i don't know if you guys even record yourself but in the recording for part one i'm like wow it's crazy manifestation is real the power of being able to like reframe your mind to think through things differently to be able to like work through adversity to work through tough times it's powerful and then to see yourself at a later point to see yourself before and then to know yourself in your current state it's powerful it's powerful to be able to see the progress and to be able to see the difference so first things first recognize your growth recognize your progress if you don't journal i would highly recommend it if you even want to record yourself and talk about what you want to accomplish in the future go back six months and watch it again would highly recommend it the second thing is i know we got it was october 13th it's already halfway through october i know we got a little over two months left of the year but i never think that it's too early to start thinking about like what your future plans and goals are i went to a conference this year it was so beautiful because i was able to see the ceo of caroline wenga ceo of essence and also bozeman st john if you don't know of either of these women look them up they are powerhouses they are bomb one thing that really stuck out to me that Bozema St. John talked about is nobody thought highly of me until I thought highly of myself let that thing in think that through like 
essentially what she's saying is that you have to carry yourself in a way that people want to know who you are people want to know what you're capable of people want to know what the value you bring to the table if you don't carry yourself in a way where other people are able to see that how is somebody else able to see it so when she talked about that i was like wow that is so powerful. What I really took away from that is that we have the power to create the lives that we want to live. Of course, it's gonna be able, you have to put the work in to accomplish that. But I was like, oh girl. And the reason why that's so meaningful and powerful to me is because like in this stage of my career, I'm really aiming to like find power in my voice. And we could have a whole conversation about this, but it's more so kind of stemming back from like being raised in a traditional Nigerian household. Like we're not taught some of these soft skills that corporate America wants to see. Like they want to see you challenged. They want to see you push back. They want to see you like do all those things when it comes to authority to a degree. They say that, but it's like, do you really? So those are the things that I'm really working on right now for myself in corporate America. When Bozeman St. John was talking about those things, it was really speaking to my soul. I think I took a ton of time this year to be reflected. I'm like, okay, girl, we done reflected. Now let's move on to what we're gonna accomplish in 2025. But I definitely feel like I took a lot of time to be reflective this year. And for myself, like the things that I'm taking away this year and bringing into 2025 is you have to care more about your career than any other person. You have to drive your career. You have to be able to use your voice in any setting. You have to be confident in yourself, regardless of who's around. And I am putting steps to really fine tune those skills because I feel like at this point in my career, they're more so soft skills than anything. So girl, identify like, where do you still need to make progress? What are some of the things that you need to do to get there? Put them in place. And the last thing that I'll leave for tip one is like, you still got time. Whether you accomplish that this year or whether you accomplish it next year, like you still have time. You still have time to be able to like put your goals into place this year to accomplish them next year. If you feel like you still can accomplish that goal this year, bro, there's two and a half months left of the year. You can do whatever you set your mind to, as long as it's realistic, as long as you put the, the plan into place. You got it, okay? You got it. Before I hop into step number two, what I'm putting on my hair is I'm using this curl refresher by For You by Tia. I feel like this is so underrated. I feel like I don't hear people talking about her brand enough. And I don't know if it's like her marketing really wasn't on point or what, but I love this. I love how it smells. I feel like I haven't really tried other curl refreshers, so I can't really compare the two, but I love it. The other thing that I'm gonna be using is this gel by Fenty Hair. Have you guys tried? It's in Sephora now. Love how they smell, love how they feel they are not cheap but I don't know I guess I kind of put it up there with pattern beauty like they're not cheap products but the quality is really great quality so really love this gonna use this to slip my hair down gonna use eco styler you can never go wrong what I've realized is a great combination I feel like I'm always doing a bun on this channel it's just my go-to. Come to realize that is Amika. This Amika mousse is really good. It's not cheap, so I think I'm gonna have to find another one that I, I like as well. And then to keep my hair hydrated as I twist it back, I'm going to be using this Mizani leave-in conditioner. Now on to, I got my notes here because I wanna make sure to provide you guys with some value. Tip number two, I want us to have a plan going into 2025. So really focus on what personal development and skill building do you need to put into place to accomplish your goal? It's like an equation. It's like X plus Y equals Z. What are the two factors that need to be put into place for you to be able to accomplish that goal? For me, I want to be able to think and speak on my feet confidently at all points in time. Because like, for me, like I'm a very introspective person. I need time to think things through. I love to write stuff down. I'm very visual. So like, that don't work when you're just having a conversation. You can't be having notes and you have to think on your feet like in high pressure, intense situations. It's not like normal conversations or like normal meetings and stuff like that. But for high, intense, stressful environments, I wanna be able to do that very well. Like I'm not talking like, okay, I can just get through it. Nope, like any situation that I'm put in, I wanna be able to handle it confidently. I wanna be able to handle it with grace. And I just, I know like, I can envision that person. Like I can envision that like 
senior level leader that's able to do those things and do it respectfully at all times because some people be moving crazy in corporate America, girl. So that's kind of how I envision myself. So to do that, I am doing a few different things. I did Toastmasters when I started in corporate America, like. 10 years ago and it was so helpful. I feel like it really set the foundation for me. But now I feel like I wanna run it back. I I did it for a few months. I really wanna elevate and I wanna take it to the next level. I'm using a bungee cord to tie my hair back. I've shown you guys this though so many times. It's so basic, but it's really just about the techniques that I think are really important to getting a very sleek, slick back. So yeah, so those are the things that I will be doing to accomplish my goal of being a leader who can confidently and seamlessly navigate through any stressful environment, any stressful situation. I feel like everybody could use like improving communication skills. Like there's always, I feel like, some progress that could be made. One thing that I actually learned from my mentor is doing first Monday. So that is you setting aside like whether it's 30 minutes to an hour every first Monday of the month to focus on your goals. I want you to ask yourself, what progress have you made over the past month? What are some of the things that you need to be able to accomplish your long-term career goal? Who do you need to connect with? Whether that's a peer mentor, whether that's your mentor, whether that is your advocate, your sponsor, like who are the critical people that you need to connect with to be able to like stay the course because your professional development is so important but people can get lost in like what they're doing on a daily basis and you know like it's your job like it is your job to be able to drive your career forward so these meetings actually are very helpful for myself to be able to like really think through like okay and kg for october what do you need to do who do you need to connect with what conversations do you need to have like are you sticking towards your professional goals that you put into place for yourself and if so great you're staying the course if not how do you need to pivot for the next year so i love them put them on your calendar like if you have the ability to have an autonomous calendar and you don't have anybody really driving that for you i would highly 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 recommend doing it the other thing that i would advise and recommend is that i don't want you to think like 2024 is already over i cannot accomplish my goal i can't do what i need to do girl you are still living and breathing okay while you are still here on this earth there is time for you to accomplish whatever you needed to do maybe it might not happen in 2024 maybe it will who knows but at least you are putting proactive steps into place to be able to accomplish that. So don't give up, you never know. The other thing that I really love that I've been doing for my own personal and professional development is like more podcasts. I have never really been like a huge podcast girl, but because my commute is so freaking long to the office, girl, I have a hour and a half commute if there's traffic, 45 minutes to an hour if there's not. So it's long. Sometimes it's very painful. So I have been leaning more on podcasts. The one that I have been loving is called Brown Table Talk. It's two, I believe they both have been senior level leaders in different top organizations. And they're just talking about so many different topics. I love it. They talk about executive presence. They talk about building networks. They talk about like, just like how to move in corporate America as two diverse women. And I love it so, so, so much. I I have on my Instagram a list of different podcasts, books that I recommend, but I think I'm actually gonna create a blog post too, so it's just kind of easy for you to get to. Let me show you guys this Fenty hair gel. So it's pretty thick, not really moving like much. What I need, these products smell so good, oh my gosh. They smell so good. One thing Rihanna's gonna do, I mean she does it all, but one thing she's gonna do, she's gonna put a good beauty or hair product out. I love. So I'm gonna kinda use this, work through the layers, and then I'm going to brush my hair back with my Tangle Teaser. As far as the podcast, I will link that all below for you so that you have it. And so that it could just be like an easy resource for you to go to. I'm surprised at how many people like liked it and shared it on Instagram, but I'm sure we are all just looking for like ounces of support and guidance and podcasts are good things to help with that. Oh my gosh, I talked about my scalp. It was going crazy. Oh my gosh, I had to go to my dermatologist. She prescribed some medication to me, girl. Oh my gosh, my scalp is back to normal, but I'm also a little like nervous about putting certain products directly on my scalp. So I just try to be a little mindful. There's this alcohol-free gel that I'm going to get because I feel like alcohol is probably what really, and I actually think it was the edge control more than anything, tore my scalp 
up. And a few of you guys have actually talked about that too. Like, oh my gosh, my scalp is going crazy because of some of these products that I'm using. So I'm just trying to be more mindful. Um, I don't really use like edge control all like that, unfortunately. But anyways, that is it for tip number two. Now let's move into tip number three. I realized that I need different types of hair ties to do different types of things. So in order to pull my hair back, I think I'm going to use... No, actually, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use another bungee. Always talk about these. These are the best. Okay, so tip number three is prioritizing your well-being, girl. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Don't try to. And if you do, you probably are going to become burnt out at some point in time. Factor in ways to, like, rejuvenate yourself. Factor in ways to, like, make time for the stuff that you love. You know, like, I understand everybody has different priorities when it comes to family when it comes to self when it comes to hobbies when it comes to like just life but just don't forget to find time to prioritize you and i know that this can vary dependent on what stage in life that you're in whether that's motherhood whether that you're a partner to somebody whatever the case might be whether you're a pet mommy or you know like whatever it is like i know it it's a lot to be able to prioritize yourself which sounds crazy but i get it but just find time to prioritize your wellness yourself take breaks throughout the day man that conference that i went to when i saw caroline wenga and bozeman st john was so powerful what caroline wenga mentioned she was like i'm an introvert i think she said she was an introvert either that or like she just needs time away but essentially what she was saying is that after she's traveled after she's gone to a conference she needs time away so she says she schedules like i don't know if it was like the full day to kind of like do like focus work so she's not like really like interacting with a lot of people after a long conference she just said something along the lines of that and I felt like that was so powerful because I feel like a lot of times in corporate America you have to be on you have to kind of navigate like you're an extrovert you have to like do all of these things that may not even be feel normal to you that might leave you feeling extremely exhausted so what I took from that is like if you are able to be autonomous with your schedule again like take time to be able to give yourself that space to rejuvenate to recoup to be able to like set time away for you to be your best self for me I schedule like 30 minute increments like at the beginning of the day I need to focus so I know what I'm prioritizing I need to focus so I know what my leaders need I cannot just like drive into work after an hour and a half drive in and then like hop right into meetings I prefer not to do that I prefer to ease into my day to know what I'm prioritizing to get into my meetings like if I can do that I can do that sometimes I can't which is okay but that's like my preference and then like at the end of the day I like to kind of like wrap my day up and figure out like what did I not accomplish today what do I need to prioritize tomorrow so like I I try to be very planful because that's really the only way that I can keep on track and yeah stay on top of my goals stay on top of what I need to accomplish for the week I just realized I did not show what I did literally just twisted this bad boy back and I am going to use a this is not satin I prefer for this to be satin but it's not I'm going to use just a little scrunchie to tie it back and throughout the week I'm gonna probably have to freshen up my hair back here I'm just gonna use my miracle Cream throughout the week to add a little bit of hydration so that's it that's all that i needed to do to tie my hair back really quick and it's easy i'm not gonna try to do anything crazy any style i just want to be able to like hop into my day because it's going to be long days you know like when you have those off sites you are on 24 7 essentially because you got a full day of agenda stuff and then at night you're doing networking stuff so i'm not even going to try to like pretend i'm going to spend the time in the morning to do my hair and to do all those things nope i just want it to be easy peasy and then finally girl the last one is let's visualize success for 2025 whatever that looks like whether it's success and like i said again success doesn't necessarily mean the promotion it doesn't necessarily mean the title growth because sometimes if we're fixated on what we're unable to control because you can do things to try to influence those decisions and to try to influence those things to happen but you don't have 100 control of that so let's really visualize success on things that are realistic and things that we can be able to have some control over whether that is improving in a certain skill whether that is completing a certification that you've always wanted that could help you get that promotion whether that's you being able to navigate stressful environments you know seamlessly whatever that is for yourself visualize it write it down and create a plan for you to be able to make that thing work that's the only way that we're going to be able to do it i think for me in the past i've always kind of felt like let me navigate let me like do my thing like i'm a hard worker 
girl by it is so much more than that so 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 much more than that and girl you got it you have everything you need in yourself to be able to accomplish that goal you just gotta have a plan in place gotta visualize manifest and it'll happen I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm not trying to rush us into 2025. I just wanted to start thinking about, okay, what's that gonna look like? But if you feel so compelled to leave your goals for 2024 down in the comment box below, if you need an accountability partner, if you just want to like put it out into the universe, feel free to leave a comment down below if you feel like you know any other working women who can need some inspiration, some advice, just some tips, please send this video over to them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this was helpful for you all and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!